recording. If you do not wish to receive this call, please hang up now. If you have any concerns about a prisoner's call being, please contact the prison immediately. Go ahead, please. Hey, mate. Hi, hello, comrade. How are you? Hello. I just thought about what you just said. Yep. Um, listen, I'm going to be ringing you up um, every day. Yep. Um, you know what I mean? Rita and, and Aaron, they'll know what's going on. Yep. Right? So, um, uh, yeah, so I'm happy to answer any question. Like, we'll keep this process going until however long it takes, you know what I mean? Yep. So I want to assist the process. I want to expedite the process by posting it. It'll take too long, so there's no guarantee. So let's rock and roll, mate, however way you want to do it. Um, did you want me to ask you some questions right now then? or? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, whatever you want, whatever whatever you want, what's going on. Um, but I will, before the end of this um, this conversation, I will want to get some details off you about how I contact you, et cetera, et cetera. Yep, yep, sweet. Alrighty. All righty. Uh, um, yeah, all right. So what you can do, any questions you don't want to answer or you think they're stupid, all you got to say is don't want to answer it and I'll just cut it out of the interview so people won't even hear it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I don't care. No, 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 no. My life's an open book. I've got nothing to hide about nothing. Um, I'm not shy. Um, or, you know, I'm not shy. 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 i What's the biggest change in your mental state since being in solitary and what does he find helps most with his solitude? Now, start that again. Sorry. Um, what's the biggest change in your mental state and since being in solitary and what do you find helps most with your solitude? This here, the, the positive is, is that it's made me stronger. Yep. It's made me into the person that I am now. Um, kids grow up to be men one day, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but it's put me in good stead as to, like, I stand on my own two feet. I'm positive about things. It's given me direction. I have pro-social values, um, et cetera, et cetera. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if anything, they've taught me and made me the man that I am today. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, I noticed that about uh, Yeah, because the thing is, is that... Um, you are forced to reflect on um, the, the amount of time that you have in your cell on your own. You have time to reflect on who you are, what your life's about, what direction you're heading in and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I cannot speak for anybody else. There are some people that come here, isolation and, and solitude is not for them because they're social butterflies. I'm not. Yeah. But... Even though I'm not a social butterfly, I can still interact and still know how to have pro-social values, morals and ethics, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What was the next part of that question, sorry? Uh, there's many. So that's one person's question. I just He says, what do, you, what do you find helps most with your solitude? Well, what motivates me in solitary? What, help, what do you find helps you the most? Um, if you have a look at Nelson Mandela, right, the history of the ghetto and everything like his upbringing and where he came from, mm -hmm. he's done like he did all them years in solitary confinement, um, even though that he was a political prisoner, look what he became. Do you know what I mean? Like he ended up being freed from prison, from solitary confinement, and he ended up... Um,
tumours, quadriplegics, paraplegics, they have not had a chance in life. For me, I've made my choices. The things that I do are life choices. So, retrospectively, I have no right to complain. Do you, know, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm not a victim. I don't come, I'm, you know what I mean? I, I, it's, it's, I hope I don't come across that way. But no, no, you don't. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, right, that's, that's that. All right, I think I've answered that. All righty, let me see. Uh, just look on which are the sensible ones. Some people just are stupid shit. Um, you ask whatever you want, mate. Ask whatever's there. Go, go for it. Well... I already know the answer to this. It's obvious, but, you know, but someone wrote, does he regret what he did? And if no. yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that pretty much finishes that one off. The thing is, is that who protects the children? Who protects those that, you know what I mean? I'm the only what am I judge, juror, and executioner on this? You better believe it. You yeah. know what I mean? When then children were crying out, please, for help, and, and, and for the, the perpetrators to stop doing what they were doing, that was ignored. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They did what they did. Well, you know what I mean? Excuse me. I, I, you know what I mean? I'm listening to the pleas of the child. I'm not listening to the pleas, the, the pleas. And I don't mean pleas in um, please and thank you. I mean please, but you know what I mean? Um, uh, of, of the perpetrator when he's, when he's being dealt with, you know, I mean, oh, don't do it, don't do it, fuck off. <laughs> anyway, that's me. Sorry, go on, go ahead. Uh, actually, just as I was going through, I got a, you know, comment for you that's just uplifting. There's a lot of uplifting comments, but I'll give you one here. Just says, mate, can you tell him that even though the government thinks of him one way, the rest of us normal cunts consider him a god? Please uh, bless him, and you do. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and we got here... Does he face all the emotions you would expect from someone in his position or has he been locked up for that many years he's drained of all hope and it's turned him numb? You have to, you have to repeat the question that didn't come through, please. Oh, sorry. God, sorry. So, can you hear me now? Yes, go. Uh, does he face all the emotions that you would expect from someone in his position or has he been locked up for that many years that he's drained of all hope and it's turned him numb? It's like, um, you know, do, do you face emotions? Do you get upset in the cell? Does it affect you in that way? Or have you been locked up so long that you're, you're used to this and it doesn't even worry you anymore? No, no. Um, I was, when I had the test done last year and this year, um, they say that I have not, um, there's no emotions that I have faced Well, do you ever feel upset in the cell? Do you ever cry? Do you do, do you get affected in a way that you know a normal outside? I've, I've, had, I've had moments. I've had I've, I've broken down quite a few times. Yeah. Um, but because I'm forced into this position, um, I've got no choice but to um, to accept. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, there's no choice. I have no control, and what I what I can do. I'm only in control of how I feel, and, and, and yeah, anyway, how do I contact you, mate? Um, how do you want to contact me? Yeah. How do you want? How do you want to contact me? Do you want to write to me? Yes. All right, I have to take this part out of the interview, obviously. You got my name uh, there. Okay. No, no. Oh, mate, I'm, well, listen, I'm going to ring tomorrow. All right. Yep. 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ring tomorrow. All right, mate. All right. Yep. Thanks very much. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Thank okay. You. Bye.